Good morning. Today I like to tell you about indication for vaginal misuse in primary surgery for pelvic products, especially for anterior defect fixing. Why? It's based on pathophysiology of an anterior compartment defect. If you watch the shape and the position of the vagina between bladder and rectum, this is for you to understand why the maximum of forces are over the anterior part, anterior wall, the vagina. And this causes a lot of defects, central, midline and lateral detachment. Especially for the lateral detachment, uh, speak or better uh, identify this type of defect uh, Richardson in 1981. The detachment of the pubocervical fascia uh, from the uh, arcus tendineus. He described four failure paravaginal, transverse, midline and pubo-uretral. Uh, these you can uh, watch some of the prolapse treated by me with mesh. And now we can study the factors involved in the recurrence. The main factor is advantage stage of prolapse, especially when the strength of pelvic muscle is very low, very low level. And also, in this study, you can see the prevalence of genital prolapse in three ethnic groups, and you can note only Asian people have a high risk of high level of prolapse. It's very interesting not black, not white, but at the end, if you analyze a lot of high risk for recurrence, you can see only preoperative stage was significantly associated to high risk of recurrence. But the Cochrane review published in 2016, explain why we to use vaginal mesh to correct prolapse. Recurrent prolapse occurred in 13% of women after mesh and 32 from 32 to 45% had recurrence after native tissue repair. It is very interesting, very important to underline this statement. Then, at the end, women with advanced stage of prolapse have the necessity to use a strong way to repair, to avoid recurrence. And for me, right indication for primary surgery for prolapse are mainly stage and lateral detachment, also obesity, Asian people, weakness of pelvic floor. Thanks for your attention and see you soon for another video.